See if I can power the switch and open the door to that gondola. It works! What was she thinking? Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. There must be some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No, puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. Roger! Roger! Robo-renegades? Did Dr. F lose control of these things? something with the motley in here. 
Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle-solving ability? Or her ability to program them? I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden if it had a brain. Or three. Bloody creepy, though. <laughs> Tearing one of the thing's heads off. It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you. Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Dodge, no. That doesn't make any sense. They are robots. Out of control, homicidal robots, they're killing people! My God, they think and feel. And I've killed so many of them. But why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger, this is not you and your posh mate. <laughs> 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 robots.
I don't want to kill you! There's at least one robot who can speak English. I'd love to meet him. If she didn't torture him to death. doing in my robotics lab we've been looking all over for you don't touch anything and shush what are you doing to the robots all sorts of useful things people won't farm you know we're going to run out of food but not if i can make these robots farm for us you're dismantling them and making farm machinery <laughs> if only it were that simple no I had to break down every single bloody step and jam it into their brains with a hot poker, or they'd muck it all up. You might as well just kill them. They're not alive, you numpty. They're beautifully made power tools that have gone a bit haywire. But I'm having a devil of a time turning off. And if I can't, I'll have to set off the motoring reaction. Maybe if you stopped grafting their heads onto monstrous spider machines, they wouldn't feel the urge to. Oh, dinner worry. I'm not sticking instructions in their tender metal heads anymore. Thank God! I'm going to use a positronic converter to hijack their feedback loops. Then I won't have to break the programming into steps. They'll figure out what I want done and do it for a change. Oh, that reminds me. James, we have to find her positronic converter. Whatever that is. Yes, and help her use it. I think I've got it. It's through the incinerator room. You'll have to find a way down a level. I don't see any stairs. One of the dead robots has some sort of device in its hands. Come in handy. Is she melting robots? 
for Dr. Ref, but I don't agree with... I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you robots and using you for parts. I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. We balance our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has the highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others we love. You love? She can make us love her. How? We were designed to be slaves. We try to remove the imperative to obey. We fail. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. <laughs> 